How y'all doing, YouTube? First and foremost, I want to apologize for the win. The one night I get a chance to come out here and film for y'all, it's got to be windy. But this is the only time I can really get out because it's hot as a motherfucker out here. I can't ride during the day. And I've been trying to make this video for y'all now for almost a month. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing y'all my brand new 2024 uh, 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 uh. Did y'all really think I was going to do that? <laughs> Hell nah. Bang. 2024. Harley Davidson. Road Glide. I bet y'all did not expect... Me of all people, to bust this out on you, did you? I bet you never saw this coming, did you? I gotta be completely honest with y'all though. This is by far the best motorcycle purchase that I have made so far. And that's even beyond my Yamaha R1, the two that I've bought in the last four years. I always told y'all when I get a new bike, I totally get something different and something that I've never had before. The Yamaha R1 is the only bike that I've bought two of. And the thing is, I wanted to get this cruise. I was talking about getting one of these when I turned 50, but hey, I got it now when I'm 47 and I have no regrets. Before I get too far, I want to give a shout out to Roadrunner Harley out in Goodyear. That's where I purchased this motorcycle from. And I did get rid of my 2023 ZX6R, my stump bike that I had built. Yeah, I did put a lot of money into it. But the thing was, y'all remember that crash I had a couple of years ago? Well, the people that's been around and that's been subscribed to me for a while, when I had all of my other videos up, y'all remember when I had that crash, the stunt crash. So. Long story short, here it is almost two years later and I still have not fully healed yet from that crash. I'm still having a lot of just problems, man. Not really health problems, but just being sore. I just got two more knee surgeries, which makes two on each knee now. Had to keep it symmetrical. It's just the fact the older I get, obviously we just don't heal the way we used to. And, uh, I'm noticing that now and I'm feeling that now. So I said, you know what? I got to get rid of this bike before I end up killing my damn self. So that's what I did. So I went and traded it in, got this bike. And I'm not going to give you all no details, but I'm going to tell you like this. Roadrunner Harley looked out for me tremendously on top of the military discount. They gave me a great trade in price for my ZX6R. Gave me a great price for this Roll glide, and I have nothing to say. So once again, thanks and big shout out to Roadrunner Harley and also shout out to my boy Z that work over there, man. And if any of y'all over here in this area, y'all looking to get a Roll glide or a Harley in general, go over there and pay Roadrunner Harley a visit. They're going to look out for you. Tell them I sent you. They know my real name, y'all don't. But all you got to do is point them to this video and they be like, oh, I know who you're talking about. Anyway, what else? So, as you can see, I went on and got the black one. At first, I was going to get the pearl white Road Glide. Mainly just because it gets really dusty out here in AZ. And, you know, even though it's white, white doesn't show as much dirt. And y'all probably like, what do you mean it's white? Look, black shows dust like it's goddamn no tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And out here in Arizona, black with dust just don't mix. Every time you look at the black, you see a speck of dust. And my OCD would kick in real damn quick. And I'll start losing my shit. And they see I'm just wiping my bike down every 10 minutes. So the white, you won't see that as much. And then I also thought about getting that shark fin blue color. I think it's called shark fin blue. Which is one of the newer colors that came out for the 2024 models. I thought about getting that. Uh, and mainly just because I didn't want to get a black one at first. Because you mostly see most people with roll glides with black roll glides with them damn chrome engines mine ain't chrome though a little bit of chrome in there but overall my shit 
Got the black joint. Then I asked him, I said, hey, yo, y'all, y'all got a black one? I just want to see it. He was like, yeah, we got one. Took me over to see it. And as soon as I noticed that the damn black one didn't have that damn chrome engine, I knew immediately, I was like, okay, she mine. I want it, I'm getting it, period. I don't care, no matter what it takes, I want it. And that's when I pulled the trigger on this black one. What else? I was trying to make a decision on did I really want to get the road glide or the street glide? Now keep in mind, y'all, both of them are the damn same price. Obviously, the street glide has the front fairing that is attached to the forks. So when you turn, the fairing moves with it as well. Whereas the road glide is a stationary fairing. It's not attached to the forks. Also though, the road glide has much more room for adjustability in regards to these bars and things like that. Because the street glide is like the bars come up through the fairing because it's much closer. And so my thing is like, look, why not get the bike with the more real estate and maybe a little bit more adjustability for the same price? But yeah, so anyway, I picked the black one and I was super glad that it didn't really have the chrome uh, engine. It has a little bit of chrome. I could deal with that. Like I said, I'll show you all one more time. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so it has like the chrome trim, but overall it's blacked out. And you all know in the past, every type of new bike I get, Usually I'll go ahead and uh, make a video of me being at the dealership, picking it up on day one and then riding it back to my house when I go to pick it up so I can give you guys my thoughts on what it's like on that first ride. This time I didn't do that, obviously, because the bike is with me now. And the reason I didn't do that because it was so hot when I picked the bike up, my camera would have froze. You know what I'm saying? I just, and I just, I didn't even, I don't know why I didn't do it. I just didn't do it. That video is going to come up next when I take you guys on a ride with me so I can tell y'all what I think about the bike. But I'm gonna tell y'all, I love this damn thing. The bike only has about 130 miles on it right now. Most of that was just me coming back from the dealership and bringing it back. And I did take it out on a couple of spins just to, you know, that way she's not sitting around. But I would have definitely had more. But one thing about me, I do not like riding around on motorcycles too much with the stock cans. Now, this doesn't have stock cans, y'all. Once again, I know I usually make a whole entirely separate video for y'all showing y'all all the mods, I'll show y'all my bike stock, and then I'll go and make another vid video showing you guys what mods I got. Once again, this video is gonna be a little bit different because I already got my cans, and it took about four weeks for my pipes to get here, and I also installed this flat out bar, crash bar, as y'all can see that. Oh, and here's a quick FYI for y'all. I find this Harley Davidson much, much easier to work on than any of my sport bikes that I got or have had. I still do got my sport bikes, one of them. But I just think it's so easy to work on this bike. Uh, I had to get a little bit different tool set. I think I had to go with SAEs now because I got mostly metrics from dealing with all of the sport bikes. But it's not hard at all. Anyway, so the pipes I went with. These are Tab Performance Zombies. I did not go with the full system because I was advised by Harley, don't get the full system. Number one, because you're going to have to, vo it's going to void your warranty. Number two, you're also going to have to get a tuner, which is an extra $500. Then I got to pay them to tune it. And number three, these new 2024s are stock 117s. So although I may switch over and get the full exhaust, I'm only going to gain maybe about an extra eight horsepower. So uh, I just didn't figure price versus reward or performance really mattered that much right now because I'm not riding down the street trying to race a motherfucker anyway. And I will be letting y'all hear what these tab performance zombies sound like. And as for the other bar, like I said, this is a flat out bar, AKA crash bar, put that on. There is one other mod that I've done, which is a slight mod, and that is I had to take this off, which is the handlebar clamp, and this little pin that's actually made into this, and it prevents these handlebars from being able to push so far forward. They can move back more, but they cannot go forward. So I had to go ahead and pretty much grind that down so I can move these handlebars forward for me, because otherwise I had the T-Rex feel, and I, I didn't feel like buying new bars right away. So that's the only other mod that I did. 
so far. All right, now in regards to my future mods, I'm definitely gonna be getting a saddleman seat. So this seat is gonna be gone. I'm also gonna be going to get the cycle dynamics or is it custom dynamics? I think it's cycle dynamics. Anyway, they have a rear light set that actually sits a little bit fur farther back and here's a little bit more recess and probably even with this uh, rear fender. And they also have a plate holder that's gonna eliminate this piece of monstrosity right here as well. What else? Obviously, I'm gonna be getting bars. I'm not gonna get ape hangers and I'm not gonna get any bars that's higher than that. I don't wanna look like I'm swinging from the goddamn monkey bars and shit at a playground. People that get it, cool, whatever. Not my thing, bro. I'm also gonna be replacing my speakers. I'm gonna go get the Rockford Frostgate stage tools with the amp that goes in the front. So you gotta do the amp. I'm gonna be doing that as well. I'm also gonna be doing the saddlebag, just like this flat out bar that's up here. I'm gonna be doing, they have some saddlebag bars that you can actually do and put them right here. They look dope too. So I'm gonna be doing those as well. Of course, the levers, which I have ordered. I got some adjustable levers, clutch and brake lever. They're on the way and maybe some grips when the time comes, but I'm not in really a big hurry for changing the grips. The final thing, I will be changing out my air filter and I also will be getting a tuner so I can tune it because once they told me once you change out the air filter, you gotta tune the bike, obviously, because you're gonna be letting in more air, so it's gonna change your air to fuel ratio. One thing I will tell y'all about owning a damn Harley, the parts are damn expensive. Now, when I say expensive, I don't mean expensive to the point like it's gonna break the bank. I guess that all depends on your finances, but what I'm saying is in comparison to a sport bike, like on a sport bike, or the most expensive thing is usually your exhaust system. And then after that, it'll probably be a flash and dyno, right? Pretty much everything after that, it's pretty 200, 300, for maybe something like that, $400. It's just not that bad. Air filter. $499, $500. Let's just round it up. Bars, $499, $500. You could probably get some Amazon specials for like $250, but I ain't doing that. I don't trust them that much. The speakers, the Rockford Frostgate, Stage 2s, $400, $500. And then the amp, another $500. What else? The damn floorboards, which I totally forgot to mention, is another mod that I will be changing here in the future. Way down the line, not that, not that important right now. But $399, $400. The damn passenger peg floorboards, if you want to get some, $400. What else? If I wanted to do speakers inside my saddlebags or whatever, in my bags, $1,100. And that's like stage three, Rockford Forest Gate. You know what I'm saying? The custom, the cycle dynamics that I want to get, that's $300. With the plate, is like, so look at this, like maybe $350. Not too bad. The levers that I just ordered, they were $250. Not too bad. That sport bike, you know what I'm saying, cost. And uh, what? That flat out bar, that crash bar, $300. Not too bad. You know what I mean? But the tuner, I got to get, once I change the filter, $500. I'm just like, damn, my nigga, really? Why Harley Davidson didn't just name this shit the 2024 Harley Davidson $500 for everything you want to put on this motherfucking motorcycle. Shit is crazy. But once again, that's honestly something I didn't even look into before purchasing this bike. But guess what? I'm here to be a guinea pig and get jackass to goddamn work through it for you. There's one more thing before I get out of here. I'm gonna let y'all hear what these tab performance zombies sound like. And you know what's crazy? These are slip-ons. These not even the full joints. You know what I'm saying? These shit sound beast. Deep growl. Oh my gosh. Night and day difference from the stock. Some people really, really like the stock cans. I got a homeboy that y'all have seen in some of my previous videos that has the red CBR 1000 double R. He has kept his bike with a stock can since he had it. And we always be asking, asking him like, bro, why don't you get rid of that shit? But like I said, y'all, 
I'm gonna let y'all hear what these cans sound like. And they sound glorious. That's all I gotta say. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. So I can get the hell up off of here. Many of videos that I already show you guys what that Skyline infotainment system look like. I could change the layout and all types of bullshit, but that's gonna be on another video, all right? Push button start. Man, I hope this is not too loud. Check it. Hey, look, y'all, I got to turn it off. You got to see my neighborhood. Ain't nobody out this morning. And it's nice and quiet. And I'm out here just revving my fucking Harley like a jackass. All right, y'all, look, that's all I got. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please don't hesitate to bang that subscribe button. I know my videos and me posting them have been pretty much scattered once every three months, once every six months, especially in comparison to how I used to post. Either way, I want to thank y'all that have stood by me through all of this. Thank you for still being here and watching my videos. Thank y'all for still supporting me. And I truly, truly appreciate all the positive feedback and everything that you guys have given me since I started. I truly appreciate it. And that's all I got. Hey, leave me some messages down in the comments so we can talk and chit chat. Tell me what y'all think about this purchase. And also tell me if me showing y'all this video has maybe somewhat changed some of y'all minds that have been on the fence about purchasing a cruiser or a road glide or a street glide. You know what I mean? But we'll be in touch, all right? Salute.